Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, the other day I gave a little presentation at uh, one of uh, the radio clubs on uh, KE9NS, his revised software for the Flex uh, radio, the older models. And lo and behold, you know, I've had done several of these now, and I, I've been telling you to check back with his site because he's very quick with uh, revisions. Well, the very next morning when I got on the computer and checked, he had come out with a brand new feature. Uh, it's really kind of amazing uh, how fast he is turning over the revisions and adding something new. Well, what did he add this time? Well, uh, in the radio hobby, there are what's called radio beacons lo located all over the world, and they transmit on a certain frequency uh, at various powers uh, in watts. And if you listen for them on that frequency and you can hear them, it just means that propagation between you and that beacon is going to be good because you can hear the beacon uh, signal. <coughs> so what he did <coughs> was that he developed a little another feature into powered SDR that automatically sequences between all the beacons located all over the world. He's got a fast scan and a slow scan. I'll show you that. And checks for propagation to that beacon. And uh, simultaneously it's generating a report uh, that you can review on sig signal strength of that particular beacon. So uh, basically you can turn it on and walk away and let it run. If you do a slow scan, it's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes to run through all the beacons at all the various power levels. Or you can do a fast scan, which takes about five minutes. We're going to do a fast scan here in a minute. I'll show you how that works. Pretty neat. It also shows the beacons on a world map color-coded by the type, the signal strength that they have. So the colors that you're going to see indicate, you know, I can't hear anything, or I can barely hear it, or it's a strong signal. You know, the colors uh, do that. Uh, so you can just look at the screen and and kind of tell by the colors what the propagation is like in all directions. So anyway, let's move over to the screen now and I'll show you this uh, brand new feature. I hadn't played with it a lot, it just came out. And it's part of his revision T11. So let's move over and I'll switch us over to the Flex Radio. Okay, so here we are, and uh, let me kind of get this out of the way. So this is uh, the flex screen with the tracking turned on, and by tracking, I mean it's tracking the sun. And you can see uh, the uh, day-night line between day and night. You can see where it is, see where the terminator is, right here, it's just now coming into the USA uh, north, northern continent with the sun placed over here in the Pacific. So what you do is you just simply open up the spotter, which is right up here. You click that and get this box. And right down here, you can see he's got something new called beacon check, beacon check. And he's got a fast scan and a slow scan. And if you hover over it, uh, it gives you some information on what it does. So if we hover over the fast scan, you can see it's given us, it says it takes three minutes. Is that what I saw? Three minutes? Is that right? Yes, three minutes to go through a fast scan and 15 minutes to go through a slow scan. So we're going to do the fast scan. 
And I'm just going to let you watch the screen for a minute and watch it moving around and placing the beacons on the map color-coded. Now I'll make a few comments. So here we go. I'm going to click the beacon check. Let's make this a little smaller. And as you can see, uh, the beacons are all located on the world map, wherever they are. And right now, it's going through those beacons, uh, you know, trying to uh, get a signal report from one of them. So that's what it's doing right now. That's what it's doing. And it's moving through those beacons. Up here in the left, you can see all the beacon names. And you can see how far it's gotten down through the uh, list. And you can see the colors are now changing. So anyway, we're not going to sit here for three minutes and watch you do that. I'm going to kind of switch you back to my smiling face here for a second. <clears throat> and here we are. So KE9NS has done it again. He's basically incorporated a beacon scanner into Power SDR. This is revision T11. And uh, who knows what he's going to come out with next week. I have no idea. I'm kind of anxious to see what all he's going to develop as we move along here. It's, the software has gotten quite complex, even beyond what it was when I first uh, was learning uh, Power SDR. He's added dozens of new features, and uh, thank goodness he's got some YouTube videos that uh, you can go to and refer to uh, that show what all the features do. So you can go back and uh, kind of relearn uh, the feature you might be interested in if you've forgotten about it just by watching his YouTube videos. Anyway, check out ke9ns.com. And when you get there, uh, just click on the little button at the top that says Flex 5000. And it'll take you right to his revision page. And you can just start reading about it. Anyway, everybody have a great day. 73, clear skies. Keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. The weather's great outside, too, by the way. It's about 70 degrees right now. Plenty good for Texas. See y'all later.